I've developed this clip for our really, really young mathematicians who are just starting out on their adding and subtracting. There's a large variety of words used to describe adding and subtracting, such as addition and add, plus and sum, add on and with the subtraction, the subtracting and subtraction, take away and minus, and less than. I think it's important to get your child used to these words because at the end of the day, that is actually a representation of the real world in which we live. I've developed this method, which my daughter loves, of frogs and logs and the number line. And the frog simply jumps up and down the number line according to the question. I did find, however, that if we had a question such as 2 plus 4, we would start out at the 2, and then adding the 4, my daughter would instantly think that she had to end up here. She would look at this number far too much, when in fact, you should end up at 6. Likewise, with a subtraction, starting at 6, taking away 2, my daughter would look here and try and get the frog down to the 2, when clearly that's not the case. So the method that I use, I give my daughter the question, we determine the starting point of Freddy here on number 6. I then cover up the numbers and then we determine the jumps. Now it is actually an addition, so he's going up the number line, two places, one, two, and then we have a look at our finishing point, which is 8. See how you get on with this one. 2, add 4, 2 is our starting point, so there's Freddy. Let's cover up the numbers, remembering our jump is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we finish at 6. A bigger jump this time, starting at 3, there we are, a jump of 7, covering up the number line. Let's do our jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we finish at 10. Subtraction this time works in a very similar way, but Freddie here will be jumping down the number line. Our starting point in this question is at 6. I'll cover up the number line, pause the clip, see how you get on. Remembering that Freddy is jumping this way. 1, 2, and we end up at 4. Another subtraction. Freddy here is going to start at 4. Remembering he's jumping this way because it is a subtraction. I'll cover up the number line, pause the clip, see how you do. So, jumping three places, one, two, three, we end up at one. I think you've probably got that, so let's try something with a couple of jumps in there. Let's apply the same principles. Freddie here is going to start at three. His first jump will be a jump of two, followed by a jump of four. Pause the clip, let's cover up the numbers, and let's see how you get on. So, remembering that addition, he's jumping up the number line. Let's do two first, one, two. 2, followed by the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And he ends up at 9. Now, this one might test you because it has addition in there as well as subtraction. So he will be jumping up and down the number line. His starting point is 3, remember. So first of all, he will jump up 4, then another 2, and then down a 3. I'll cover up the number line, pause the clip, see how you get on with this difficult one. So let's take it step by step. The addition of four, one, two, three, four, then another two, one, two, and now remembering he's jumping the other way, three, one, two, three, and he finishes at six. I thought I'd finish with a really difficult one now where we've got addition and subtraction within the question. Again, he's gonna start at four. Then he will jump up, then down, then up again, then down again. Pause the clip, see if you can master this difficult question. So, he's jumping up the number line, four. One, two, three, four. Now subtraction, so down three. One, two, three. Up two, one, two. And finally, down five. One, two, three, four, five. And the answer to the question, he finishes at two. I hope that helps.